Hi everybody, uh, this is Jeff again and today we are going to talk about how to use the database CINAHL. And if you're in a nursing class, uh, it's probably going to be at some point in, in your class or in your course of study there for your nursing program that someone is going to ask you to use CINAHL. And CINAHL is spelled C-I-N-A-H-L. And that stands for Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. Basically, it's an area of EBSCO where you can look up specifically nursing articles. So let's get right down to it. From the front page home page, front range community college home page, frontrange.edu, go to academics, then to libraries. And I'm on the Boulder County campus, and that's which one I'm going to demonstrate today. But any campus, it's the same. But to go to our campus to use this, click Boulder County campus. Then you'd go to this database under electronic databases where it says EBSCO and CINAHL is within here. So once we get into EBSCO, and if you're using it from home, you'll need a username and password. Contact someone in the library and we'll, we'll get that to you. So then we click on EBSCO Host Web. And there's a lot of different databases in here, and one of them you'll see right there is CINAHL. And you could search more than one database at a time. You could click those two and click Continue. But if you've been asked specifically just to use CINAHL, then just click into CINAHL right there. All these will be full articles in here. And just uh, type in some terms of some articles you would want. Keep it really simple. So I'm going to put in diabetes here. Do a search. And it's just going to look through all these nursing and medical journals to find articles on diabetes. And it found 14,544 results. And that's great. That's great. Now we'll start to weed that down a little bit. I'm going to take this little arrow and say, how about diabetes has to be in the title? click search. So now it's going to take those 14,544. How many of those was it in the title? So that about cut it in half. 7,337. Okay, maybe I could add another term here. How about how many of these have to do with some form of obesity? Now, since it could be in there as obese or obesity, I'm going to put in uh, like this. I'm going to write where the spelling might change after the S. I'm going to put an asterisk so that I can get obese or obesity. Now you, I could have typed in obese or obesity as well, but this is just kind of a shortcut. That asterisk will find any version of that word. So how many of those 7,337 also have obesity in there or some version of obese in there somewhere? Okay, that took it down to 555. So a big mistake people make with these databases a lot of times is they'll do one search and then they give up because there's too many results. Um, but it narrows down very quickly. We're now down to 555. How many of those might have some version of obese in the title as well? Let me change that to title. So out of the 555, how many of those also have some version of obese in the title? 176. So we have narrowed it down really, really quickly from over 14,000 to 176 articles. We could do some other things here. Uh, we could just go into the articles if you'd like. Or let's say the instructor has asked only for peer-reviewed articles and peer-reviewed or academic articles. That means, and we can click this box here to make that happen, that means is they come from higher higher level research journals. And uh, most of them, most of the articles in CINAHL are going to be from these higher level research journals. But let's just say, just to make sure we're not looking at anything that isn't from one of those types of journals, let me hit peer-reviewed. Screen will go gray for a second, then we click update. So then it's going to find how many of those were peer-reviewed. So actually, well, that's pretty good, 142. OK, so um, we could start looking through these articles. Any of these articles you want, you can get. Just click on the title if you'd like. I just clicked on the first one there because it's the first one I saw. And it'll tell you all about the article first. And this is so to kind of let you know what you're reading and to help you with the citation, although there's another citation help in this database as well. Here's the title. Here are the authors. Uh, this is the affiliation of the authors. This is their, their credentials. This is where it was published. This is the journal it was published in, when it was published. Uh, this was in volume 21, issue 3, pages 31 to uh, 39. And 41, there's references. It's a journal article, then it tells you just kind of all about the article. Now notice you don't see the full article. And a lot of this throws a lot of people off, and they think, well, that's great, but I want to see the full article. If you look around, there'll be a link for the full text of the article. This is just telling you about the article. So I can click on the full text, and it's going to download that full article. 
It's a 10-page article I can see here. This is a PDF. I can turn the pages there. If this isn't large enough for you to read, you could increase the reading size and move this over. If you'd like to print this out, just click there. There's a print button. Now, this doesn't work well from file print because this is a PDF. So you'd click there and print it wherever you want to print it. You could save it somewhere. You could add it to a folder to look at later. And I have another uh, film, another YouTube video on the library tutorial, video tutorial site telling you how to use the folders. If you don't know how to use the folders, you can watch that video to help you with the folders. Um, you could even email it to yourself if you would want to. If you click on that email box there, you could email it. Let me go back here and let's take another look at this article and show you some of the things you can do in this database. Okay, so we have all these all these articles here. A whole bunch of them here. Now let's say you, you can change other you can change other things too. Let's say we want to take peer reviewed off. So I can click that X. Now I just want to kind of see everything again. And that's back to 176. So most most of them were peer reviewed. It took off a few of them. Took off about 30 of them. Um, now it will bring back the most current ones first. So you're seeing the most recently published ones first. But if you would want to, these articles, out of all of them, they some of them go all the way back to 1952 in this search that we have here. If you want, if you only want to see the most current ones or whatever, you can grab this and pull this. See how it's changing the years. So I only want to, you can just say, I only want to look at the last few years of articles. And then click Update. If you have no interest in the older articles and you just want to remove those from the search, you can do that. So most of them were actually from the last few years, so that's, it's pretty current. But there were some that were going back historical. We could take that off here. So that's basically how you use CINAHL to find articles. Let me show you a few other neat things you could do. I'm going to click New Search here once this page completely loads. There we go, new search. Once we get back to this page, how about we just say diabetes. I'm just going to keep this one simple. Diabetes is going to be in the title again. Now let's, uh, let's say you're kind of trying to get an idea about what diabetes is. Just give me a quick overview. Those articles we looked at are going to be very, very specific about some specific aspect of it. If we scroll down here, you can click on CE module. That means continuing education module. And these are really good summaries of what's known about these topics. So if I click search now, instead of bringing me all those articles, it only brings me back five, but these aren't really articles. What this is, we can take a look at this first one here, diabetes mellitus, treatment of older patients. If I click on the PDF here, take a look at this. It'll be a short two-page document. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Well, I guess you can't see the whole thing then. It's a short two-page document just giving, just summing up what this is. Give me all kinds of quick facts and stats on this. It's a great place to get up to speed pretty quickly on it. And then maybe you'll want to go into research something more, more specific on it. So that's the CE modules. When we went from that first page, I told it to just give me the CE modules. And it just brought me these basic, basic uh, continuing education modules on diabetes. And I could get up to speed pretty quickly on it. There's all sorts of other neat things you could check in here. There's, uh, you could make if you've been asked to find just evidence-based practice articles, you could click that, and it'll bring back just articles related to that. Um, you could go in here and you could say, I only want to see articles with diabetes in the female population, in the male population. Uh, most of these are going to be in English, but you could you could change the language if if you only want to see articles of a certain language, you could limit it to age groups. All sorts of very interesting things here randomized controlled trials. So you can get as, as specific as you want. You could say, I want the first author to actually be a nurse. I want at least one of the authors has to be a nurse. So you could even tell it number of pages. I only want to see articles that are greater than or lesser than a certain number of pages. So there's all sorts of uh, limits you could set on it. And if you want to set the date limit right up, right up front, you could do that here too. So that's a basic overview of how to use CINAHL. It's really it's just like using regular EBSCO. It's just if you've been asked only to use this database, you would go into this database, CINAHL, and then use it like that. So it's, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'd be glad to help you one-on-one -on -one through email or over the phone with this database. And uh, until next time we talk, this is Jeff signing off.